So we got the Ichthyornis, got the Glowtails, got the Dodos, got the Moss Chops, got the Therizino. Um, I'm out of food, actually, as well. And welcome back to Ark, where today we are going to be working on the base more. And yes, I have been breeding the gas bags. And we did get us a nice one with a mutation. This one did come with a health mutation. But unfortunately, the oxygen stat is not where I would want it. But still, though, you can... It's still... I mean, it's still a flyer. And it works so good. This one, though, came out looking like a cow. It got black and white on it. Which I found really awesome. Um, now, the parents do have this as well. Where they could come out with the black and white. Which I do find awesome. But it's only one of them. And I haven't balanced it yet. And I really hope that I don't lose the white. Because if I come down here, as you can see, it basically has the same colors as its mom. And as you can see, ooh, we got one down here. Wrong gun. Uh, yes. But... Okay, here we go. Come on. Come on out. You got the stats I need, and I've been waiting for it. Now, these guys do take a hot second to move. But yeah, anyways, here he is. Check for mutations. He's clean. Now, okay, you got the black dots on the bottom like I wanted. Now, will you get the white on the sides on the next one? That's what I hope for, is white on the side on the next one. That's what we need. But anyways, today we are going to be working on the farms. More specifically, the egg farms and these two farms. Now, you might be wondering what these two farms are. And, well, one of them I've already decided on what it's going to be for. This is going to be the polymer farm, all right? Said and done. Now, this one, though, I've kind of thought about a little bit. Now, we could go for a mutton farm in here, all right? Just have baby Ovis down here. We come in with a moss chop, chomp him up. You know, just have one moss chop for the two of these, you know? And then somewhere, like, over here, we put the Akatina farm. Like, over in here. Or back, like, right in here. Just where it's out of the way. Or I strip out the walls here and the ramps and make this into the Akatina farm. And we do like a 2x2 two two for Ovis over here. Now, that's just my thought on it. Because this is a 2x3. Which is fine. And that is scary every time it happens. And I'm pretty sure that's like, a, a, like the drop pod had landed somewhere in the world. And because it's single player... Like, we'll hear it everywhere, I believe. So, yeah. But we got Moomoo here. Now, where I'm planning on doing the egg farm is a little different. Because you guys all probably thought I was going to do it on the cliff side. You know, or this on a cliff platform, alright? I've changed my mind on that. We're going up there. Now, what I have done here... As you guys saw last episode, I finished up the walls... I just hadn't decided on what I wanted for stairs, and well, I have now. I know, generator very loud. And we went with the spiral staircases up to here. Now, this is going to be five up. This is our egg farm, or will be. Now, you may notice that there are big gaps here. I ran out of tech, all right? Then, I also tried something with the tech windows. And those didn't work because you can't change out the... Here comes another orbital supply drop. Oh, there it is. There it goes. Um, but you can't change out their, you know, thing, like, with the glass ones, where you got, like, the border, or then you can have one that's, like, say, smack it dead in the middle of this, where there's no border on it. And, well, unfortunately, I couldn't do that. So what I've come up with is we're going to put glass windows in there. Because <laughs> I do want windows in here. I just feel like the glass windows would help the farm be brightened up so much. But I did also get extra walls here that now I've been thinking about using as like this. So I place them down like so, and boom. And now this simple 4x4 is an egg pen. Then I go over here. I will put, of course, the sloped one on there. But yeah, we just go like this. Boom. Now I do need three of these, and I think, yeah, I think this is what I want to do for egg pens. Is more of a, like, you know, kind of like a pen. Like a corralled off section in a big building. Uh, like a, like a stall. A stall, you know. That's what they'll be. Now, 
For creatures, though, let me explain what I've chosen. Now, I would use Feather Lights here for the first one, but Feather Lights take a very long time to grow up. I hate to tell you this. I mean, I think it's... I wouldn't say long time, but it's definitely, like, longer than the Dodos. All right? So we're going to be breeding Dodos for our simple... Ki or our basic kibble. All right? But Glowtails, on the other hand, they will be raised for our simple kibble. All right? It was either Dimorphs or Glowtails. Those are my decisions. And I just figured Dimorphs might not work as great. So let's just go with the Glowtails. And then lastly here, I think I went for Ichthyornis. The little weird birds that steal shit from you. Yeah, so for our regular kibble here, we're going to be using Ichthys. And then after Ichthys, we're going to go over to Therizinos. Because Therizinos are going to be legit the only ones I could possibly, like I mean even possibly fit in here. I mean, it, it, it it's the only way. And then lastly, it's going to be Deinoticus. Now Deinoticus are going to have a special setup. Because the only ones I, could, I definitely could fit Utah in here, but I'm not going to fit a lot of Utah in here, alright? So, uh, we're going to go with a special slice setup. And that's where, when I need to make Extraordinary Kibble, I will come up here and I will just breed my Deinoticus and pick up the eggs and go make Kibble out of them. But in terms of the other corrals, I think we're going to go like this. So, these are going to be the four, the three small ones. Then, of course, we're going to go Moss Chops. I think... Do we go Moss Chops? I mean, we might be able to fit some, like, Titana Boas in here. Snow Owls, maybe. Uh, but yeah, I think we might just go with Moss Chops. Then, of course, Theories right in here. And then Deinoticus in here. And now what I mean by Slope, of course, is like that. So that way they look nice. They don't look like just jagged corners. But yeah, I mean, those look like they'd look really good once I... Uh, you know, I might even paint them egg colors. Like, you know, this one would be white because white eggs, then green, and of course green eggs, and then purple or blue. I want to say blue, then purple. Yeah. Maybe not, I don't know. But yeah, it, it's an idea. It's just at least an idea. Now, what I need to do is this. We need to go look for dodo eggs. Dodo, no. Dodo, moss, chops, nope. Egg, no. Bear, Zeno, yes. Dying. I don't know where those guys are. Okay, where are you guys in here, actually? Okay, now I think. I think I have all the creatures I want. Now, what those creatures are are the Therizinos, Deinoticus, Ichthy, Moshop, Dodo, Glowtail, Ovis. I know Ovis out of nowhere. Karuko, and Oviraptors. Now, these two are for the farms down here. I figured may as well do them while I'm getting all the other ones bred up. I'm going to have to go put a bunch of other dinos on hold at the time, though. Uh, but yeah, we'll get these guys going. Um, then the Oviraptor is just to boost the egg farm. I know I didn't do one in uh, Aberration. I don't think they really needed it, honestly, in Aberration. Because uh, they might have. So we went through Kibble. Okay, I mean, I guess this is really the only ones that are in my way right now. But the problem is, is that the Aberrant Platyosaurus here is done. Alright? Or semi-done. It needs a gender swap. Still. And... Need him. Alright. Okay. It's just, just this one time. Because I don't want to have to do this. And I mean, I'm doing decent on element. For now. And I do got Lystros over there with my Jug Bugs leveling them up. So I am technically getting more and more... Do I... Yeah, let's do it. Oh, shit. That was a mutation pulse. I'm not happy. Alright, you two... Oh, god damn it.
elegant swan dive. Where's my dino? There's his poop. There he is. I can't believe I just threw a dinosaur off off a skyscraper. Okay? Let, let's just be honest here. This is a skyscraper. Okay. We're here. I hit my head. Nope, nope, nope. Wabam. Okay. Thank you. Don't fall to your death. Ooh, ooh, ooh! It's your level. What is... Oh! Oh! You're the one I need! Come here, my youngling. Come here. Come on. You are perfect. Oh my god, no, 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 like, look at that. Look at that. Like, we're gonna get the stamina off of this guy, definitely. But, like, that is unbelievably close. And this guy, this guy has the colors I want. Um, that might be the gray, though. Do you have gray on your eyes, or is that brown? Black. That might be gray. Uh, let's put this away so I can see the behavior. Disable mating, thank you. Now, you guys are over there. Well, before I completely, completely space it off and just start running around being excited about my new dinosaur. Or my new gas bag, actually. Let's pop out these guys. Dodos, Glowtails. Here, we'll throw these out. We'll go doom, 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 doom. Ichthys. Yep, I think that's... Yeah, I want to do it. Right. I, I'm OCD about this. I know I was organizing my hot bar there. Please, nobody uh, take an elegant swan dive off the front. Glowtails are the ones I'm worried about, actually. Honestly. I don't think I need to worry about the glowtails, though. Now, these guys are all egg layers, if I'm correct. So, these are the wrong guys. Screw it. You're already out. They're already out. May as well. Just go with it. Uh, over raptors, why not? And Ovises. Ovises I'm gonna put a range though. I don't I don't want I I don't want to go any closer to that line than I already am with any dinos, so whoop bam. Bam. Please don't do that right there, which I was hoping you wouldn't. Damn it. Wait. All right, thank you. Close enough. Do I have two feet? No. Where's the hearts? No mate boost? I mean, do you guys count as being close? Yeah. Do I just... They don't have a mate boost, is the thing. Huh. Like, all the other dinos have it. I don't know why they don't. It might be something I have, like, a niche settings I don't realize I have turned on, you know? It's one of those obscure, stupid things that better dino has. And I mean, I understand it. It's probably, like, so that way the wild ichthys can't gang the shit up on you. I am trying to beat you to go the other direction. Thank you. Right, sorry, gas bags. These guys uh, weren't cooperating. And uh, let's just throw the Ovis here behind the gas bags. I got really confused right there when that thing came out with no hair. Okay, so behavior. I'm gonna get these guys all breeding. Okay, all those guys are going now. May as well just get it all out there and going. Okay. I'm gonna say it. I know I can do better on these guys. I mean, 
legit. I, I have proof of that I can do better on an egg collection guy. Because I thought I wouldn't be able to do any better than that on the wyverns. Well, my ice wyvern, on the other hand, has 40 in melee and, and health and 39 in stamina. Alright? Now, the other wyverns are better. Now, this guy. A lot of people didn't think I'd get good stats on him. But they are breedable now with a mod I have, so that's how I got good stats on him. So he's not good evidence. Whatsoever. But these guys. These guys I know I can definitely go back and get better ones of. I probably should go back and get better ones of them. It's just I don't want to do that right now. And yeah. We don't have time to. So we might. We might. I'm not saying that we... We, we do have time to. I'm just saying that I have no clue what I'm saying. I'm just losing my mind. I've been sitting here playing Ark all day. I'm going to be honest with you as well. I'm already done with the Ovis. They can go back into Cryo. I literally just needed a single egg from the Ovis. So they're going back into Cryo. Now I need 11 eggs from Moss Chop. That's the one that I'm going to need the most out of. It's Moss Chops. Or I'm... Mm, do I... Or do I just go with seven? No, let's go with six. Let's go with six moss chops. Because I think that's all I'm going to fit in there. And that's all I plan to do. And I only plan to originally do five of the Dinotica. So may as well just do five moss chops for the egg farm. And one for the... One for the... Ugh, polymer and mutton. You know? I'm losing my mind. I am so sorry today, guys. I'm starting to lose it. I can't focus. Okay, so we got a male and a female so far for the Glowtail and Ichthys. Now, I've decided to do something here. Before the Deinoticus and the Theries could produce any, unfortunately, I think these guys did produce one, yeah. Unfortunately, though, baby Ovis do not live long without us manually feeding them. Or with a shotgun. And here, I'll show you why these guys are so amazing for raw prime meat. This right here is just a baby Ovis, alright? We're already at 50 pro uh, raw mutton, alright? 87 prime meat. These are the two best things that you can give to a carnivore besides meat, or besides kibble. I'm losing my mind again. You know? The return of the Uga Boogaloo is happening. I'm also running out of meat and like 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 no like, check this out. Check this out guys as well. So I was checking out what it would cost me for all these tech. Right? These are the end game tech one, like tech stuff, right? So of course we got this tech with the tech repair station here. Alright, obviously I am going to be working towards this, but it takes a hundred element right now. And it takes two thousand five hundred metal which is currently out of my reach um i'm only down to about like a thousand metal left i need to be careful on what i spend it on i was going to use it for glass windows but then you like the tech stove here i was going to use this to make meat L look what i need 16 industrial grills along with the king titan trophy gamma so that one is out of the question now the tech forge oh yeah 64 industrial forges. You heard me correctly. And the Alpha King Titan Trophy. Alright. Now a laboratory is definitely... Definitely within our reach. But... I mean, 8 chemistry benches. But like, chemistry bench recipes output is doubled. And that's from the chemistry bench, right? So like, what is it? think it gives me eight card narcotics this would give me 16 narcotics and i think it's hopefully for the same price then the tech cooking pot cooking pot yeah eight cooking pots uh translocator now this is basically like a uh, imagine like a, a storage anywhere it's like the ender chest from minecraft eight vaults all right and that's just for one of them and then tech refrigerator now I understand this thing is kind of itty 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 bit broken with the fact that all spoil timers are reset. All. 
Okay. But 64 refrigerators. I don't have the resources for that. Now, there are other ones that are cheaper, of course, down the like down here more, like uh, the control unit. I mean, I don't even know what this does, honestly. Tech alarms allow. I, I have no clue what this does, but Omni 2, like setting transfers and like got auto crafters down here. I don't know what an auto crafter does. Tra Transmutator. No, co converts creatures between their variants. Now, if I knew this. Honestly, wait, hold up. Does that mean... Does that mean, like, I didn't have to go tame all the aberrant variants? I could have just had my normal arc ones and then turned them into the aberrant ones? Probably, but I feel like this is more rewarding. And, of course, we got a charge station I can make. I mean, I might actually go make one of those. I have the stuff. We'll draw a charge from near light... By light, nearby light pets in ver verariums. I've also thought looked into those verariums for like a t like a was it making farms on the back of a platform saddle. Of course, yeah, that would be awesome. Of course, there are other ones in here like a crystal cracker, a drone terminal, a charge injector, dedicated storage, all that, and all the interfaces for them. But I've like not used them at all yet, and I still don't know what some of them do. All right, I've had to look into them, but in terms of a couple of those things, I could get them crafted and test them out. But in terms of crafting them right now, I am limited by elements. So what I was thinking I could do is one of those element nodes that spawns out in the wasteland. Um, I could try and do one of those. Say take Gunner and Blossom along, like one of those guys. All right, Blossom probably with her swords will chop through anything. A gig of those what worries me with Blossom. If a giga spawns, we are out of there. We are not going to be able to do that element node. Whatsoever. Why am I trying to use the stairs when I can fly? Although, yeah, I should probably get used to using the stairs because these are going to be filled in with windows here. And a bloop. Thank you. Alright. Egg boosting is on. How many dinos do you reach? Okay. It looks like, yeah, you will just reach my farm because it looks like you're reaching Archie in red. Okay, um, t -t 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 these guys are going to be pretty simple to set up as well. I think I'm just going to go with five penguins. Because like, last time I went with ten, and ten was a little overkill. Just saying. So it's five Ovis, five penguins. That's what I need for those two farms. Uh, probably five fairies. Five Dinoticus, six Moss Chops, one for the... Of course, these two farms. Are, I think I might go with ten... Uh, do I go with ten each on the little guys? I might not, or I might... I'm debating it still. That's just a hard debate. You know, I usually go with ten of each. I might just go with five of each this time, you know? Because... I don't know how many... Like, look at that. I could go with five of each right now. Glowtails, I could say, are done. Alright? Boom. Five of each. Glowtails, done. Ichthys. Bam, 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 bam. Alright, we got female, male, 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 male. Okay, we're not, we're not done with this one. That one was, like, one female. Then, uh, really quick turned into a very popular meme. So I've come into another dilemma. My gas bags are both male. Woo! I could easily fix this, though. I mean... Do I want to attempt it again? I'd have to make sure I have it set up. If I'm gonna use element like this, though, I gotta be conserving with it. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm lost. Yeah, I'm 100% just going with five. I'm, so I'm going to pack the glow tails here. And yeah, so we're going to just go with basically five of each creature for the egg pens. Alright, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go crack at it. I'm going to get all these eggs done so that way I can get a nice shot for the end here. And a nice couple minutes here where we have the farm filled with dinos. 
And I'm definitely gonna have to make me meet here at some point, because I am getting low. Alrighty, guys, so... I've gotten it done. The egg farm is filled. Now, as you guys can see here, we got the Deinoticus. And I have gone through... I did make sure I named the male so I know which one he is. I'm guessing he... Look, he it should be the one that glows, because he should be the alpha. Because he has a mutation, so he does have the highest level. But the way this works is I just come up to him. And shaboom! And... Maybe not working the way I want it to. Uh, hold up. Can I push you over more? Yep. Push you over more. Yep. Push. Push you over more. Uh, no. Okay, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Let's try right there. I know this. I'm beating the hell out of my dinos right now. But I thought I tested this. That's actually the first time I turned on the males breeding. I thought they were good in their spots. But I guess not. Let's see if this works now. Behavior, enable mating. Boom. Yep, all five of them light up. Boom. Yep. And that's how we get eggs from the Deinoticus. Now, all these other ones don't need any of that special treatment. So we got the Ichthyornis, got the Glowtails, got the Dodos, got the Moss Chops, got the Therizino. Um, I'm out of food, actually, as well. I don't think I have any at all. No, I don't. Shoot. No, no, no. Alright, yeah, no, I'm out of food. Egg farm is done. Um... I really don't know what else we got. I mean, we got them done. I'm happy with that. Do I have any anything? Uh, that was probably the worst thing I could have done. But I'm wondering if I have any food down. What is just chewing through berries? Oh, it must be the fairies. They're still growing, I think. They're still on trying to heal, I believe, actually, so they should be consuming a lot of food. Do I got any eggs? Yep. I know, I know, I gotta eat an egg here to get some food in me. Uh, I'm likely Caracos are almost done, but yeah. That's gonna probably be it for this episode. We got a lot done. We got our entire egg farm built and set up. Although it's not fancy like where they're all in their own structures. I mean, we got it done. I, I already started somewhat working on the floor above. Because to do the nice angled thing there with the glass windows and the triangle or the or the corner pieces. Uh, I had to... I, well, I'm starving again. Well, I had to uh, go and start placing some ceilings. And I may as well place down my last three staircases to get up. But yeah, this should be our next floor. I've also been thinking about what we can do there. I was thinking about either a kitchen or... The kitchen might be the best idea for right there. Like, just do a three-high kitchen. And then we do a landing pad up top for storage. Because I've made a new goal for this extinction. We have to have one of each flyer. Like, personally tamed. 